Today, I tell you why I bought a Polygon. What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I explain why I picked up a Polygon over all the other bikes out there. My name is John and if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell to get instant notifications when I upload new content. When I decided that it was time for me to upgrade from a hardtail to a full suspension bike, I did tons of research. I knew what I wanted in a bike before I even started searching around. I wanted something with a medium frame, 27.5 wheels, a decent amount of suspension travel, full suspension obviously, and most of all, something upgradable. I was really hooked on the specialized stump jumper, but with the worldwide bike shortage going on, I wouldn't be able to get my hands on one of them for months, which is nuts. The spring season was approaching fast and I wanted to get something before the bike parks opened. One day I was just browsing through Facebook and I saw an ad on there for bikes online. I went to the site and quickly realized one thing. All of these bikes look like other bikes I have seen before. With some research, I found out that Polygon makes frames for some huge names in the mountain biking world. Marin being one of them. It just so happens that I was also looking into Marin bikes. I did some research on some of the Polygon models and they have fantastic reviews. They are more than half the price of the other bikes in the same class with the same parts and best of all, most of the bikes were in stock. I ended up buying the Polygon Vander T7, which was actually originally made for a company called Calibre. Because of the bike shortage, they started making them to sell under their own name of Polygon. This bike ticked every box on my required list. 130 millimeters of travel, a one by setup, rock shock suspension, tapered head tube, 27.5 wheels, and so on. I got the bike and I was thoroughly impressed with the build quality. The setup was absolutely trash, but I won't go into that in this video. If you want to see that video, links in the description. I changed out parts as I needed them. I bought this bike to trail ride and tread at the bike parks. So far with my upgrades, this bike has surprised the hell out of me. It takes a beating and I'm not exactly gentle on it. For the price though, it's a fantastic bike. You get everything you would expect to see on a modern trail bike, but not nearly the price you would pay for the top brand names. After I got it all set up to my liking, I took the bike out to my local trails and was absolutely blown away. The bike is super stiff. The 27.5 wheels gave me the confidence that I didn't even know I had. I was riding faster and harder than I ever have before. With my hardtail, I had to be careful and pick my lines correctly or I would lose all momentum. With the Polygon, I can just plow through rock gardens like they're not even there. Polygon owns their own factory, which is why they are able to build and sell bikes at such a discounted rate. The Vander may not be the highest spec bike out there, but for your average trail rider and beginners, this bike is perfect. It still comes with decent parts. The RockShock Recon Fork has 130 millimeters of travel, which can be increased to 150 millimeters for free in less than 30 minutes. It also has 32 millimeter stanchions and it is a through axle. The bike does not have boost spacing, which I never really cared about to begin with. I always you know, thought of it as some type of a fad. It comes with a SRAM SX 1x12. While not the best, it still gets the job done. You can also upgrade the parts of the drivetrain to suit your riding style. The wheels are the WTB STI 29. They are a 27.5 wheel set with 29 millimeter internal width. That's pretty good for a low spec bike. I jumped them and they are still holding true. The rear shock is the only part of the bike that I do not really like. It's a Rock Shock Monarch R. Uh, there isn't much adjustability with it. You have your air adjustment and rebound adjustment. You can't add volume reducers, so if you're bottoming the shock out, you have to increase your air pressure, which then throws off small bump sensitivity and provides a harsher ride. I plan to change this out once I can find what I want in stock. The handlebars are 780 millimeters wide. They are attached to a 45 millimeter stem. I really enjoy both of them and I can't find a reason to upgrade. The tires that it came with were Schwalbe. I run tubeless and these tires are not tubeless compatible, so unfortunately they had to go. But for your average trail rider, they are totally fine. Bike prices are absolutely insane anymore, but for $16.99 US, this is an incredible deal for this build. I will be making a video showing all of my upgrades and everything done to my Polygon. As for now, that's all I've got for this video. All clickable links down below in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.